I have something a little bit different for you today. Sent this video from somebody who is very interested in mediumship, ghosts, um, all kinds of spiritual things. And they didn't exactly want me to analyze this. They, I guess they wanted me to look at other things that these people have done. But, you know, I looked at this video. It is a 24 minute video. I'm going to show you bits and pieces from it. I've never heard of these people. Um, they use a lot of tarot or tarot. And I have a very short video, eight minute video on what I think of tarot. And you can check that out on my channel if you'd like. Basically, tarot cards are used for storytelling and they're pieces of paper. And that's about it. So what I'm going to show you today are two mediums. And their names are Queen Quatita Dean, whom they call Queen, and somebody named Boots Tarot, B-O-O-T-Z, Tarot. And this is a, I guess, like a show um, by Claudia Jordan. And they've invited two people in to be read sitters one of them is Kaylee and one is John and so you're going to see five people on the screen most of the time um this doesn't look like it's been edited we have a cat <laughs> it's that time at night and the cat says there are hands to be sat on so I'm going to sit on some some hands there's a cutie she doesn't care she doesn't even want to look at you guys she just wants to sit on my hands okay move out of the way Imogen so what we're going to see, this was recorded April 8th, 2021. So back during the pandemic, when most times things were locked down. So always take that in consideration, which you can, when you're hearing about certain readings, because you'll see that there tends to be kind of a theme in some of the things that are being said about businesses and, and uh, economics and moving and um, that kind of thing. Um. I'm not going to show you a lot because I do not want this to be four hours long and neither do you. What we learn is that um, Kaylee is, I believe, a model and I, her boyfriend is there in the room with her. And she follows these two um tarot reading psychic mediums queen and boots and is a big fan and has seen him in person and boots was <laughs> was saying oh my gosh i remember you you got the one that got the free reading that time and she's like yeah it is it's me you know and they're like oh how'd you set this up you know so if i was a hot reader and and you guys have been paying attention to this channel you know darn well we're both thinking the same thing that now that Boots knows that she was there, um, if Boots can remember anything that was previously told to um, Kaylee in the past, then it's going to be a hot reading. Um, but let's say up front, and it'll be clear really soon, there's no hot reading being done in this at all. It's complete cold. John is a, a single father. That's almost the first thing he says. He's a hairstylist. I guess he has his own salon or something like that. And his son is sitting in the, is sitting with him. It's a baby. And so, you know, that always says a lot about a person when everybody, when somebody says, can you tell me about yourself? And whatever the first few things that they say is usually kind of how they identify. And that's the important things like, well, I'm, 24 years old and I'm from California and um, my great grandfather was Elvis Presley. You know, I mean, if you say those kinds of things, then that's your identity. It's usually how you identify yourself. So it's kind of fascinating how, how that works. Um, we know very little bit. Oh, um, the second person that's John, he's a Southern Baptist and he is kind of freaked out about getting a reading Whereas Kaylee is just like, this is awesome. I love all this stuff. 
So it's odd to have them introduce the the sitters um, when you're getting a reading, because that's just not like what you do, because then that gives all kinds of information to the mediums that they can use to guide their readings. And it's hard to tell if they're actually really getting the information cold or from the dead or whatever it is they're doing. So they got a lot of personal information and they asked them, who do you want to hear from? And uh, Kaylee said she wanted to hear from her grandmother. And I believe um, some other family members, John really wanted to hear from his dad, who he didn't have really good closure with. And I think he said, if I'm not mistaken, that either the dad or himself was 27 when the dad died. I, I just remember hearing that. We'll probably catch that again in a minute. We'll see. So I'm going to try to do just the highlights of this. So let's let's see where we go. I didn't cut this video up. Uh, I have a lot of favorites <laughs> in here, but let's see where we go. And the cat is cat is playing with the mouse I have. So it's going to be interesting here. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'll just go ahead and start. Somebody's stepping forth with a tragic death here. So I have two cards here that are pulled, and this is Emerald in reverse, and then I have a card that looks like it was somewhat of a tragic situation. Does anybody on uh, either one of y'all's sides have somebody that might have died in a car crash or tragically? Mm. No, not me. me. Yes, you, was it a male individual? Yeah. Okay. You guys weren't romantic, but he did leave you something, correct? Um, yeah, he, he, we weren't romantic. We were like, he just had a little crush on me, but we were always tight. Like, we were so cool. Okay, and I feel like he's pinching my butt, not slapping it, but pinching it. Did he do stuff what? like this? Like, goofy stuff? Yes, like, I guess yeah, that's him. This, that's him. This yeah, would have that's been him. something he would have done to you. And what's yeah. the significance of the umbrella? umbrella? Is there anything, um, was it raining the day he passed, or did he? It might have been raining. It might have been raining. Okay, so there's a significance to either rain or being protected from the rain. Um, um, was he a boxer or a fighter? Did he fight? No, he played football. Okay, that's fighting enough for me, girl, honey. Hand hand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I guess the last part that I will pull is the Wheel of Fortune upright. When you dream of this person, you're really perceiving him in your dream state. And... Oh. Um, Red roses. Is there something about rose petals or something red uh, falling? Okay, so I'm seeing like um, you know, like at the end of anime movies when they have like mm -hmm. the secret flowers that are like falling from the sky. Would this uh -huh. keep any reference to you or him or the individual on the other side? Um, the red roses. Not sure. Not sure. Report back. Think about it while we're here. I know. Okay, you I'll think about it. It might come. In. Yeah, let's stop there. <laughs> this is entertaining. All right, who's got a car crash? Anybody? Um, a male, well, you know, they were romantically involved. Well, she makes it clear that they weren't romantically involved. Pinches her butt, what, what the heck? Umbrella, What? what's this about an umbrella? So an umbrella could be an actual umbrella or it could have some association meaning things underneath or or protection from you know i mean it could mean it's a symbolic kind of thing it can mean just about whatever and rain or protection from rain was it raining and you see how motivated these people are they're on they're on this show they badly want to do well they don't want to embarrass the mediums or embarrass the host who invited them on right so they're going to do their what they can to make things fit so whenever he's, he's, um, so whenever, okay. So the person on the right, who's been talking, that's Boots, B-O-O-T-Z, Boots Tarot. And the one with the yellow hair on the other side, that is Queen. So when Boots is telling um, Kaylee about um, car crashes and so on, Kaylee's trying really hard to make it fit, you know, about being pinched, um, and was it raining? Kaylee's like, well, it, it might have been. And in other words, trying to agree um, and not saying no or I don't know, but it might have been. And was he a boxer or a fighter? And Kaylee says, no, he played football. That's a no. And 
Boots says, oh, well, that's close enough because that's fits in my book. That's a violent kind of thing. And then red petals or something red. Now, I want you to remember this because it's going to come back up again because Boots said for her to think about it. And Boots is clearly associating the guy who died in the car crash with these flower petals and roses. I mean, what what does that mean? Are we talking roses? Are we talking love? What are we talking about here? And then goes Boots goes on about anime, you know, at the end of an anime and it's just a bunch of rose petals floating across the screen. Well, what does that actually mean? Um, so Boots does tell her, you know, whenever you dream about him, and it was odd because this doesn't mean that Kaylee was dreams about him at all, or probably hasn't thought about this guy in a long time. So you guys know me, you know what I'm going to say next. What is missing? Pretty much everything. Do we have a name? No, we have no name. Do we have a date of a period of time? No, we don't have anything like that. Do we have any information whatsoever about this guy who came through? And why would this guy come through whenever she's got so many more strong relationships she would like to to be in touch with, like her grandmother and other family members? But no, some guy that had a crush on her could have been 10 years ago. We don't know. So remember that about the roses because that's going to come back up here again. So now we're going to go to Queen who's going to talk to John. So let's check that out. Gotcha. Okay. And John, is there anything uh, that you're particularly you're hoping to find out? And I know you mentioned your dad. You wish you had more time. Um, you know, um, can I, can I stop him? Cause I don't want him to give any information because okay. I, I, I wanted to ask him a couple questions because that's kind of how I read. What's the situation with the housing? Um, are you needing to move or what's the situation? Because I also feel like charges or some sort of bills have gone up. Um, do you understand what I'm saying first before I go forward? <laughs> Repeat that again. <laughs> Hold on. I, I need to re I didn't hear that again. <laughs> you caught him off guard, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to understand is there something going on with the housing? Because I feel like either somebody is hiking up a bill or there's been an increase in the rent. And then there's something about wanting to move or needing to move. Um, and then something about the the state the housing, like wanting to relocate or to move or something. I want to start with that first. Um, I, I am planning a move actually. And yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about a move. I, I, I plan to relocate. To well, you're nervous about a lot of stuff and um, I really I'm, don't want you to be because you have a lot of success coming in. You have something that you're getting ready to start to do as well. They also keep saying electronics. So I don't know if you're good with electronics or what that is, but there's something with electronics or computers or something that you're going to also be doing or to incorporate or come together. First, do you understand before I keep going? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me go yeah. on and listen. Also, where is the J and the L? Like John Lewis, I don't know if this is two names or one name. Sometimes when I hear the names, it's either the name or the initial to the name. So I want to um, first, and it could be living or cross, just because I mentioned them doesn't mean they're past. Um, where's the name first, like Lewis? I don't know if this is two names, like John Lou, or what is this? But where's the J and the L name? The L is an X, but yeah, that's in the past. That, okay. that was a, a relationship 16 years. and. It's in the past. Okay. Let me say this because it isn't in the past. It's uh, energy that is keeping you. It is floating, honey, and it is it's got you. And it keeps showing up in your life. There's also the situation with your father that keeps showing up in your life as well. We want you to kind of close the door on that and get some more understanding on that first. Let me start. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we, we need you because you got the baby in your hands and that baby is going to 
you know, reap everything that's coming. So we got to close some of these chapters and some of these doors and be okay. Because reason why they're bringing up their ex relationship is because you still ain't saw how these things show up in your life, even inside of relationships. So you got to start to be accountable for how things show up in your life and how you allow it to show up in your life. You also have to stop carrying anger connected to being a single father. You understand? I do. I definitely do. Yes. And that's okay. And, and can uh, I interject no, because, real quick? Yes, please. Real, just real quick, Queen, because I feel like the notion that I'm getting as you're speaking, I'm pulling cards and I got the Oracle card that is upright. There is a big dream of his. And you mentioned electronics and he didn't have the reference to that. But I think a part of your dream manifesting itself, even as you are moving, deals with technology or maybe this could be marketing or displaying yourself with some type of technological device. This is where I guess some of this detachment that she's speaking of is keeping you bound. You're not making steps forward because this non-healed energy you just walk away from it's like somebody who ghosts you on the internet like okay i was just talking to you and now you're gone and you carry that with you detaching from that makes your dream come into fruition in magnificent ways and i feel like again the son don't hold harbor or harbor any guilt because of the mom because he's an indigo child and that child is going to 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 enrich your livelihood it's done this yeah. way on purpose okay yeah. but mm -hmm. until we learn the lesson we're going to keep repeating why do i because not everybody harbor? indigo children that is big time woo woo um you might want to check that out it's it's hella nonsense and it is in a lot of ways it is um abuse of to the child because now they are like descended from the stars and and some space aliens came down and put this and made them one of their star children and so they're going to succeed in life and they're going to be very successful and then they're have a special way of communicating and you know it's like something one of those bad sci-fi movies from the 60s um really an indigo child it's just Okay, so that was all cold reading. You guys recognize that it's bad gold reading, isn't it? So we've got, we've kind of, okay, remember, this is April 8th, 2021. What's going on in April of 2021? We are one year into the pandemic lockdowns. Um, we are almost the day. April is right about the time we started locking down in 2020. So about one year, we are just getting vaccines at this point and it is um we're starting to see a little more hope because the, um i think it was uh december of 2020 is when you started seeing like nurses and and some people getting vaccinated and there was a spark of hope so by 2021 april we're starting to think okay we're going to get out of this maybe it'll be a little bit but we're going to get out of this so this idea that things are becoming much more expensive that he may need to move, um, you know. Of course, if he's in, he's a hairstylist. He's he's that's his his business. So when you're in a pandemic situation, you can't have personal contact with people. Your business is going to suffer an awful lot. So I bet this guy was in a lot of stress. I would not be surprised. They were the pushing computers, electronics, and so on to him. Well, you know, maybe that is a thing. Maybe maybe he would be very good at it. I don't know. J and L name, like John Lewis, maybe two names, living or dead. I mean, think about how many people this hit. This would probably be my family too. And it's really fascinating because John immediately goes to, oh, well, the L name, that's an X from 16 years ago. And that's past, way past. And, and then the medium's like, oh no, that ain't past because you haven't dealt with it right. And it keeps coming up in your relationships. And oh, by the way, this problem you have with your father, which now I know he was 27 and the father was like 57 or something like that. That was uh, something you need to get over and move on from, forgive your dad, deal with it, whatever. Um, why did John just say, oh no, the L name is somebody from 16 years ago. Really an ex from 16 years ago. So it's not the mother of this child, obviously. It's just such an odd thing to say. Do you really go that far back when you're trying to look for a letter of a living or a dead person? First name, last name, an L? Interesting, huh? It must be because 
maybe the medium knows this, that person's on his mind because I mean, 16 years ago, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even consider it. It wouldn't even dawn on me, but for some reason he's trying really hard to be this motivated sitter. He's trying really hard not to embarrass himself, not to embarrass the mediums or the host of the show who again, put him on the show, right? That's why he's there. So he's looking for anything and seizing on an ex from 16 year old, 16 years ago is pretty, pretty weak. Um, and um, so I'm going to skip a bunch. I'll put a link to this video. If you should want to watch this all the way through, you can. It's like I said, it's 20 something minutes. But after I analyze it, it takes it takes like an hour, two hours. So I don't want to do that. So Queen is going to talk to Kaylee and she's going to say, um, there's something going on about your love light. It's a lot of BS. And then the uh, host of the show, Claudia, is going to say, oh, I got to cut to a commercial break. And there is no commercial. It just comes right back up. So I guess it was a 30 minute show. And um, with the commercials out, it's 21, 24 minutes long. Um, they come back from the break and Boots says, we touch people's lives every single day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm behind this screen, just like this reading, my girls changing lives. So we might not have the biggest audience, but I guarantee we will go up against any other audience that tries. And that's something that's saying a lot. You know, there's there's so much competition, especially during the pandemic, when anybody could could didn't even need a website, just turn on zoom and boom i'm an astrologer i'm a tarot reader i'm a palmist would you believe they'd have people put their hands on the screen or send a picture of their palm and they would read their palms that way um mediumship everything everything you know people were making income hand over fist and it was cash most of the time cash pay uh, paypal and all those kinds of things cash is that getting reported to the irs i really doubt it um, so th that was what was going on so there's tons and tons and tons of competition i mean there still is but during uh 2020 2021 and 2022 mediumship and all of these um new agey stuff went went crazy out there <clears throat> all you need is a zoom account or something of the sort where they can see you so they go on and it goes back to it goes back to um who was it boots i think was talking to kaylee and kaylee they ask her well what is it you want to know and she goes oh i don't know whatever you want to tell me you know really vague and they said that she says, what's this about this relationship you had said before the break about me having a, a bad love life? Now, keep in mind, her boyfriend's sitting right next to her. <laughs> so that's pretty rude. And she's saying that, so she's being told that it's an unbalanced relationship. They're narcissists. I'm not sure if it's Kaylee or her boyfriend, but one of them is a problem for the relationship. And then they go on and they give a whole bunch of gibberish about stuff. So now... I have this other one I've got to play for you. Oh my gosh. I just want to cut it and use it for, for, <laughs> I'll show you right now. The icing on the cake and then I come after the cake has been baked. Oh no, bitch. Right. We're baking the cake. We're icing the cake. We're sprinkling the cake. And the relationship is supposed to do nothing more than add a little ice cream on the side. Right. Hey, can I also can ask? I I can I ask where the cancer comes in for you? I don't know. I've, I keep, I don't know if I'm talking to you or Boots, but um, Kayla, I, um, where does the where does the um, Kaylee, where does the um, cancer come in for you, Queen? Cancer. Is this the zodiac sign or the disease? Um, oh, well, that's what I'm trying to understand. I don't know disease, but you know, I, I'm a little ghetto. I don't know. It could be the, <laughs> could be the zodiac as well. Um, my boyfriend, his family, like they, they do. They, his dad had cancer, or you know, that kind of runs in his. And family. what does the P name connect for you or for him as well? P name. Mm -hmm. P name. Papa. Pa <laughs> I mean, he called his his granddaddy <laughs> Papa. That's what he called him. And that's the one that had the cancer. Yeah. Dialysis. Yeah, dialysis. Is he the man that would have had like 
um, diabetes or foot trouble or something with the leg as well. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've heard anything worse than in cold reading than who is it who has cancer? Who is it that is associated with cancer? And they're like, even the other medium. And let me tell you, this is awkward having these two mediums fighting over people. It's it's oh, it's awful. So here, here comes Boots saying, well, are you talking about the Zodiac sign or are you talking about the disease? And, and the medium says, I don't know. It could be. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, my gosh, people. That is not. That is that is the worst. How do you how. If you're communicating with dead people or communicating with the world of this world of spirit, supposedly, how do you confuse a zodiac sign with an illness just because they have the same name that's so lame oh my gosh really I, I think i might clip this out and just use it in the future for just an example of how bad it can get and who has a name that's got a p in it a p name is that a first name last name living person dead person and she's like well <laughs> well first she says my boyfriend's family has some cancer in it and it's like who doesn't? Is there somebody out there who does not have cancer in the family somewhere? I don't know of anybody. And a P name. And she's struggling to come up with somebody's name who has a P. And the boyfriend off camera goes, Papa. And she goes, well, like she call, he calls his granddad, Papa. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. So then they have another break. And it's asked if the readings resonate with them. And Kaylee says that. The roses mentioned earlier are about her grandmother. She's come to the conclusion that they're about her grandmother. And so the medium says to her, Boots, says there's a dog and there's barking and asks if grandma had a dog. And Kaylee says, maybe she died before I was born. So again, there's the maybe um, because Kaylee wants to agree. She wants to make sure that this comes out really well. So um, odd that the medium didn't know any of that other information. Again, what's missing there? There are no uh, names other than a P name, an L name, and a J name. John Lewis, but nobody had any link to that. Then they ask if there are any white people in her family. Kaylee says, yeah, there's some on my dad's side. And the medium's like, yeah, because I was trying to figure out why they're here or wh why there's white people over here. It's just such a weird thing to say, but okay. And <laughs> then the medium asked John, um, oh, John says, John says, there's something I didn't talk to my father about. I really want to know something. It's something that, you know, I he died before I could talk to him about it. And it's really important to me. And he starts to even get a little bit emotional and the mediums just gives him a generic response. Like, you know, well, I don't know if he was really young, whenever you were really young when he died. And then now I, now that I'm watching this again, I see that John was actually 27 when his father died. So that's not young. So the medium forgot and forgot that the that he'd already said that and he wasn't young he was you know not like six or seven or five and didn't get to talk to his father about it but the mediums are, are saying you know just let it go your dad um get over it just let him move on or whatever and one medium says name it after him and he will be happy and they're like, start questioning each other. Like, what are you talking about? And he says, name it after him and he'll be happy. And they're, and the John is going, well, I don't know if I'm going to have any more kids. So I don't know how that's going to work. And they're like, oh, well, it could have been a business or it could have been something else. Just name it after your dad and he'll be happy. And he's like, okay, then, you know, kind of whatever. And so they asked him again what they all thought about the readings and they say they both got really great readings and the mediums are 
are um they're saying that they are booked too far out way out there um queen has got a long waiting list and boots is booked every day until may so now they think about it that's only a month <laughs> that's only a month later because this is april here i am in my mind thinking today oh this is this is november so booked until may Whew, susan all right, so they're saying they're really booked and you can get you can get a reading from them if you want something, a better reading later. Oh, gosh, I don't know if you could go any lower. Okay, so then right before they hang up and they're all done and, and the host of this is saying, oh, we got to go, we got to go now. And Boots says, it's all about the intention. If you do things for good, you will get good results. If you do things for self, or evil, you will get bad results no matter what you do. That's a law of attraction, and that's a bunch of nonsense. Um, it's it's this positive thinking movement that has gone on for a while now, where if you if you think positive, if you have good thoughts, if you um, you will manifest things around you that are good and wonderful. But if you allow negativity and badness into your heart and evil or whatever, then you'll have bad things happen to you. In other words, um, you, you, you're responsible. So like if, if you're walking in a crosswalk and a car hits you or nearly hits you in the crosswalk, that's your fault for having bad intentions or negative thoughts, right? That's where we go with this positive thinking in this, in this nonsense that they do. So if you get cancer, if you get um, some bad illness, if you're on dialysis, well, I guess it's your fault for having negative intentions, evil intentions. So, so when they say this kind of stuff, like think well and have positive thoughts about stuff, you'll manifest, you'll have intentions. They think they're being positive. They think that this is a good thing to say to people, but really, whenever you look at it, it's a it's like victim blaming. It's if you are not having a good life, it is not because the randomness of life. It's because you are not thinking well and healthy and, and good thoughts and you must be having some bad evil things happen to you. I really it really kind of pisses me off when people go this way i mean so so if your dog is hit and dies in the street that's because you had negative intentions or evil intentions or something it just gets really stupid after a while because what if the you guys you can go with this you know what i'm saying it's just not it's wrong to blame people for for things that are not necessarily their fault it's it's wrong to to say that you weren't praying hard enough or you weren't uh, thinking happy thoughts or you allowed something negative to encroach into your mind. And when you did that, these bad things come along. And Or if you see somebody who's having a really bad day or some bad things are happening to them, then you can point your finger at them and say, you weren't thinking good thoughts. You haven't, you're, you've got negativity on your mind and you were, you know, it's, it's just wrong, really wrong. So I'm really curious what you think about this, this reading, um, these readings. I found them to be like zero. Can we get negative numbers in the readings now? It's, those were really awful. It was cold, even though there was so much information given to, to, uh, to the mediums beforehand. And one of the mediums had actually known this um, Kaylee person. Um, this is kind of common what we're seeing here this is mediumship this is what modern mediumship looks like it's it's personality driven um these people are picking up these cards this boots person's picking up cards oh well i got the such and such and you're like so <laughs> that's what i'm thinking over here i'm going you got the wheel of fortune card so what how do we know you haven't been going through the deck of cards until you find found it at the last minute and pulled it up if, as if that actually means anything there was it's so bad that i just cannot understand why people would follow these people 
Why would you think these mediums are any good? Why would you book an appointment with these people? They're awful. There's nothing inspirational. There's nothing good. You have to really be reaching. You have to really be trying to find something that 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 got something of value out of that reading. What could you possibly have done? And yet they say they got a good reading. Well, you can't actually picture them saying, yeah, no, that wasn't so great. I didn't really give us pretty vague. I didn't really get anything out of it. What a waste of my hour. You know, nothing like that. Anyway, so these are different um, than the normal mediums. And I've, I've showed you in the past and I may check out some more of their videos or maybe they'll lead me to other kinds of videos like this. But the readings are all the same kind of nonsense. Gibberish, wordplay, um, random things that seems like that would fit almost anybody and just just a lot of retrofitting. Like whenever she said, was he a boxer or a fighter? Oh, he played football. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, that's that's what I mean. All right. So leave me comments. I'm really curious what you guys have to say. I can't imagine sitting there behind your computer for from nine to five. I guess that's what some jobs are like. I guess uh, Boots there is making some money. You book that far nine to five, eight hours a day. Anyway, like, share, leave me comments. Please hit the alert bell to, so you'll be notified whenever I upload another video. And send me videos and send me things you want me to look at. I'm happy to do so.